Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to create an event on Instagram application. So if you're making use of Instagram and you want to um, you want to have an event and you want people to know about this event and also set a reminder um, for the event to be active or get notified when this event is active I'm going to show you guys just how to set up this event and guys do not forget that if you are creating event on Instagram this kind of stuff you need to also design a graphics and letting people know um, more detail about this event but um, this is just a tutorial so I'm not going to be adding much information on it so I'm going to click on the plus icon and you notice where it says post I'm going to click on post and on default it will display my post section and which allows me to enter my post so i'm going to scroll over to my um, image area just i'm going to pick a random image so i'm okay with this image so um click on forward as if you want to make the post choose any filter this is not um necessary for this particular tutorial and then this is actually the page that is necessary you notice where it actually written um add a reminder or add reminder go ahead and click on add reminder so on this area you can notice i have a previous event i created that is displaying there or probably a reminder so it's actually a reminder but it's actually called an event because when you are running stuff like this they are called events because it gets people reminded and how long this stuff is going to last do not worry let me show you guys um just click on create a new reminder and then give it a name so i'm going to call this um c o d m tournament and then i'm going to come to this start time and then um you notice this is actually the um this is not the current time the current time is 9 30 so um you know what let me set it to 10 30. it's actually not going to go if it's less than one hour so normally you should click on create right um so if you click on create you should start creating but do not forget to add the time that the event is going to end but if you do not add that on default is going to choose that exact time or probably five minute interval so our event is not going to be created because it's less than five minute interval so we have to make this event let's say probably this event actually is starting today and the event is going to end uh, maybe um maybe uh, next month on the fifth of next month let's assume this particular date and then click done so when you click on this confirm it and then just go ahead and click on this checkout to confirm your post wait for the post and um sorry this is a mistake wait for the post once the post is complete you notice right there there is this reminder when you click on that reminder you notice when the event is going to be active and you notice it says um online event and when you click on remind me you notice it says get um reminded for this event now you notice they actually changed it from reminder to event right and then um once you're ready to turn on this notification just click on turn on and you will notice that um, the reminder will be turned on and you will be reminded whenever this event is ending or being um, active. Um, actually, it's going to start in five minutes from now. So in five minutes from now, this event is going to keep counting. So I'm going to pause this video while we wait for this event to actually kick start, which is today. You notice today is 18 and it's going to start. If you remember, I put 940. So this event is going to start in 940. And once it starts, we can start counting down. And that is not all for this video, guys. You can always edit this video. You notice it says um, the particular event is starting around 10 35 and i think it's an hour from now so if you want to edit this stuff click on it and you can always edit this time timer right there but i do not want to edit it because this is just a tutorial and also if you want to leave a caption go ahead and leave a caption let me see so this is my caption and then i'm going to click on the top area to confirm my caption so it's going to be saved and when you click on this you notice people are going to see this so um the event is going to go active immediately is the exact time that i set it to come active so this is all i want to show you guys on today's video if you have any question or if you have um any challenges doing this please leave it on the comment section i'm going to go ahead and answer each and every one of them thank you for watching this video and i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe and peace